Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be identifying equivalent fractions and decimals. An equivalent decimal are two decimals, two or more decimals that name the same number. So basically they mean the same thing. Remember equivalent means equal to. So if I had three and five tenths, I could write that as a decimal and it would be three and five tenths, 3.5 as some may say. So I want to change that though to equal into hundredths. So I can multiply the numerator and the denominator both by 10 to turn them into hundredths. So if I do that, my three is going to stay the same and I will multiply five times 10 and 10 times 10. So I would equal three and 50 one hundredths. So three and five tenths is equal to three and 50 hundredths. And this is how I'd write it as a decimal three and 50 hundredths. If I had two, or sorry, 12 and two tenths, that would be written as 12 decimal point two, 12 and two tenths. Again, I can change that to hundredths by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 10. When I do that, I would get a fraction of 12 and 20 hundredths. As a decimal, it would be written 12 and 20 hundredths or 12 decimal point two zero. If you notice in both of these, all I really did was add a zero to the right of the two. If I add a zero to the right, it does not change the value. However, if I added a zero um, in the tenths place where there wasn't a zero there before, that would change the value because that would turn it into two hundredths. So adding zeros to the end or to the left of a number does not change the value. Adding zeros in between a number does change the value. Let's look at one more example. In this case, I have four and 60 hundredths. So now I, instead of turning it in, so to write it, it would be a decimal point four and 60 hundredths. But instead of turning it into um, hundredths, I need to turn it into tenths. So this time I'm gonna start with my fraction four and 60 hundredths. And instead of multiplying by 10, I need to divide by 10. So when I divide it by 10, I'm basically taking one zero away from both parts. So I'm going to have four and six tenths. Notice this time, instead of adding a zero, I took one away. So four and six tenths can be written as a decimal four decimal point six or four and six tenths. I hope that you found that helpful. Please click like below and subscribe for more lessons from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.